different aspects of why, why children can become picky fuss eaters and some of them is to do with what the food feels like in their, their mouth, uh, which is gustation etc, which we kind of know a little bit about but one of the things we've been looking at is if there's a link to anxiety and what we know is in anxiety disorders you can have a trigger um, so maybe as, so if we talk about anxiety disorders generally and then I'll bring it back to Craig, um, say for example you have a child that uh, is out for a walk and um, maybe they get stuck, they're climbing and they get stuck in, stuck in rocks and they can hear a stream, um, what happens is then that fear gets gets combined with the, 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 the noise of water and then they can go on from that to develop uh, a fear of water which can then develop into a fear of going, having a bath, a fear of even rain, a fear of going into swim pools. So what we think, and Craig is it's a kind of prime example of this, Craig's had a uh, bad experience where he's got a memory of something that's really scared him, which is a house fire, and then somehow that's become associated with food, and so the fear is transferred from the house fire and it's become linked with the food. So whether it was then because there was something that happened in your house and the smell of the cooking triggered the memory of the the fire so then it becomes entwined together and we know that fear memories are really very very powerful uh, which means that they take a long time and sometimes a lot of work uh, to get rid of them um, so in Craig's case it would sound like that and then of course then it didn't help because by the time he was getting to teenage years rather than him then having a sort of a relaxed uh, a, a, a relaxed situation for him to have food it sounds like he was being force fed again which then would increase his fear his anxiety so it would just